Hello everyone. now in front of control control room let's see what we can learn inside in this control room it's taking the upstairs Hello there, sir. Good morning. Open. Take a seat, sir. I will introduce to you the plant control, plant operator. Here on the show, actually. Let's see what we can learn here. We can share uh, some. Right now, exactly, I have an order from site. According to the information they given me, they want me to batch uh, asphalt make design PVC binder course. So, uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, my uh, senior uh, inspector here for trusting me, especially my uh, profession as a batch plant uh, operator. Okay, shall we start? So basically, guys, uh, as part uh, mixing plant is designed uh, to mix uh, different kinds of material combined with uh, bituminous uh, to make some uh, paving uh, material. Some of these examples are uh, uh, we travel, uh, especially, especially those who travel by land. Uh, some of you might uh, wonder uh, what the road uh, pavement uh, uh, mixture is all about. This, may, this video may, might uh, help you uh, regarding this one. Okay. First of all, asphalt plant basically start here in cold uh, bin uh, unit. After this one, material will go through conveyor conveyor then go to drying drum drying drum then uh, make some separation uh, particle that uh, been uh, heated will go through this uh, hot bin hot elevator bucket type the uh, primary dust collector uh, also this unit is designed to separate the uh, heavy dust and uh, the fine uh, filler material so near this uh, uh, hot bucket unit is what we call the screen the screen is composed of uh, multiple uh, multiple multiple uh, screen that uh, separate the aggregate uh, coming through. Passing through the screen is the different types of uh, hot bin uh, aggregate segregation to separate all uh, different uh, types of uh, aggregate that we are using and then passing through this uh, hot bin the discharge gate going through the mixer mixer then after that 
the filler and the bituminous material will join to combine and to form our uh, product what we call the HMA asphalt uh, hot mix material after that we have this uh, uh, silo to collect uh, discharge material from mixing from mixer uh, unit then if you have uh, dump truck waiting here you can discharge uh, if you want if you don't want just let it uh, uh, stay here for a while after the dump truck comes yes, okay. and so guys that uh, short information uh, might uh, help you if you want uh, to stay uh, just take a while and see what uh, we can do I have a short uh, batching only 27 ton it will not take long only 20 minutes hope you will stay only one So guys, basically I am starting here first at mixer. But honestly, it is not. Uh, but uh, uh, the purpose is this one. But why I, why I am uh, starting here because our generator uh, he cannot uh, and he provide enough load. That's why uh, I start first here. information to the viewers out there maybe you might ask uh, why uh, there is there is uh, always horn uh, uh, sounds in every unit I open the purpose of this one is to uh, inform somebody out there especially the labor in plant maybe he was near the motor or uh, for example uh, near uh, uh, some uh, uh, running conveyor so he might uh, open his attention and get rid of it for safety reason share us a brief uh, a summary uh, a recipe component here okay. so now I have an order and uh, also I would like to show you what behind the uh, recipe combination of uh, design uh, called the uh, binder course Here I will, I will open the uh, 
cold bin unit I will choose base course as a design for a binder course Said they want 27 ton, I will put 27 ton. 27 ton, that's what they want. 27 ton, okay. I will put load out bin. Okay, all materials ready. I will check if the bitumen unit uh, is ready or not. I just open the pipe and then click the pump. Hope it will be okay. I will check the maintenance is free. is still empty that's why it takes a little bit second to, to fill up uh, the vitamin You see, there is some numbers indicating 11 kg. That means uh, our vitamin is ready. Now let's proceed on the production. I just first remove some uh, unnecessary element inside the hot bin because uh, yesterday you might have some remaining cold uh, 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 material. You should remove this one guys before you start so it will not cause any uh, deformation on your uh, product. Right. Loader is okay. The loader is loaded to collect uh, waste material. Let's receive uh, 
on the actual production start here drying unit is start burner metal is on Barner unit indicate that uh, induction of fire flame is ready. Just a few minutes, and if you open flame, Frame is open. As you see, the, the material, the, the raw material, which is the cold bin, cold material, are passed through this collecting, uh, con collecting conveyor, and through that collecting conveyor, it will go to discharge conveyor. After that, material are in to the drying drum. While in the drying drum, the material are segregated by this flame. Mostly uh, through this day, all batching plants are using uh, air and the fuel uh, combination. For example, uh, 30 to 40 or 60, uh, la, la, uh, 30 to 70 or 60 to 40 uh, combination, air and fuel combination. I just have to increase the flame. That's why
material inside drying ground are now ready to travel and collected by these long range bucket hat bin collector. From this bucket hat bin collector, it will travel upside near the travel hot bucket collector is the multiple deck uh, uh, screen combinations of different screen as you see the screen has uh, aggregate now and processing some uh, segregation Now material is starting to show on this different uh, uh, different uh, uh, kinds of uh, separator, at least separator, separator different types of aggregate one on the recipe. It shows here that one and a half as already material. This is uh, one and a half hot bin, and this is the uh, three fourth hot bin. Uh, one eight, and then uh, zero five. I have just to make sure that all the compartments are filled up with the uh, admin material before I start. Basically, all operators 
are starting their uh, hot mix batching when these uh, four different types of uh, hot bin uh, uh, unit is uh, up to 1.5 ton or 1 ton of material uh, inside you can uh, start uh, your uh, hot mix uh, design without any doubt that it might uh, uh, it might run out of supply upon uh, batching that is the purpose of making sure that there is enough material here huh? so guys let's start as you see all materials from the hot bins are going through this weighing scale aggregate weighing scale and also the bitumen are coming to weighing skin sulfur and clear also coming here and they are all gathered here and mixing unit to form our product what we call hot mix product And from this unit, it will take time. My design for a binder course is 37 seconds. After 37, 37 seconds, it will yani, uh, fall. It will open. But for me, my, my technique, I have my technique. Because uh, mostly the first batch, uh, uh, it is not sure that uh, all material from here are heated well for you to make sure that the materials are uh, mixed well here in a uh, uh, mixer unit you must uh, uh, put some extra seconds before you open the gate manually first batch finish Batch weight design for this recipe is 1.5. 1.5 means your finished product is here, 1.5. And the second batching is already inside the uh, mixing unit. Guys, you need to be quick eyes on this cursor, huh? You might wonder why I am uh, always go back and check this uh, drying unit, huh? For your information, you must aware this unit because if you did not it will cost more temperature on your material and more temperature means a chance uh, your material will be paid on site by inspector or something
actually this is the illustration of how plant works here huh? just like a diagram no? so yeah. where, where it measure all the materials in and out So now the truck is positioning. For loading. No? Right now I have six tons almost inside the uh, silo compartment, storage, and for batching unit I have seven tons. This is our finished product. I can choose to drop on the waiting uh, dump truck uh, downside, but I choose not to drop so that I have a clear heated material inside.
the remaining required uh, batching uh, for today is 10 ton. I can now drop the material, the finished product material on the dump truck waiting downside. So guys, here is the uh, first dropping there outside. You can see it comes from the hot mix storage silo. Yes. It's the first drop. You can see an overlooking glass here, outside. This is how he controlled this batching. No? This is what uh, the operator capable of. No? Six ton remaining on my required order. I can now stop the supply of raw material from the pole feeder so that it will not cause uh, overflow from this compartment. Upon stopping this uh, drying dam, uh, this. Uh, Raw material cold uh, bin uh, feeding. Your uh, drying unit will automatically stop if there is no material coming in. Sensing by the sensor that there is no material flowing. In a few seconds, the burner uh, safety uh, procedure protocol will command the operator that we have this time 29 seconds before it will close. Then it will.
Again, another command. The burner unit will command the operator if he wants to continue the batching or he wants to stop the batching. I don't want the solid fish now. Burner automatically stop. And as I said before, I stop before so that I don't uh, have any overflow material here in the The, the remaining here is the last batch. After that, this bitumen section unit will be automatically stopped. As well as this one and this one. So guys, as I told this one automatically stopped. You have to make sure that you put hand on this one for manual operation. And then you continue to open the motor. And also this one, you have to make sure that this was in a hand operating mode. And again this one, and this one. Okay guys, for now, the 27 ton required by uh, site uh, uh, departments were to finish and the remaining material is inside this silo uh, temporary uh, stock material. It is a nearly complete loading of hot mix asphalt. That is in the last portion. So guys, that's it. Thank you for uh, having your time and hope my uh, short uh, video uh, might help. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you also, guys, for watching my video. And this will help you in your future, no? Career.